Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! My name is Dragon Yuel and Fuzzbottom Jr. and these are some of my Patreons. Lit Dragon and Wario Land Gold Pyramid. As we get started here today, I would like to request that you let me know of what you think of today's video. And if for whatever reason you don't like today's video, then please, let me know why. Now then, when we last left off, we were nearing the end of Creme Cauldron. Basically got this level here, and then the boss fight. Along with uh, Swanky's bonus bonanza, but since I just loaded the game, I'm not going to have any money to do that at the moment. So we'll see what happens by the time I get through Burn Bowl Blast. Before I enter this place, though, I would like to point something out. I noticed something interesting. So far, the first three areas of the game... All had ships. What is up with that? I know I could probably come up with a better joke, but it's not really meant to be a joke so much as it is an observation. Speaking of, of observations, check out this level. Man, there is a lot of detail in this here background. You know, Video recording has come a long way over the years. I remember a long time ago watching some Let's Play by I Forget Who. I want to say it was SSO HPKC. Not entirely sure. Anyway, it was somebody who was doing a Donkey Kong Country 2 playthrough, and the person wound up reaching this level, and the video game so uh, the recording software just could not handle this. The background is so busy and so detailed that any time the person came into a level like this, the, the, just, the video just couldn't handle it. Everything just became blurry because it was, it was just such a mess. So it's kind of interesting how far recording software has come along. Anyway, this place here is a slight bit of a maze. I'm not entirely sure which way is the way I actually want to go. But typically the game kind of points out which way you want to go in the form of these bananas. By the way, the song that is playing, hopefully it is audible enough. It's kind of peaceful. So the story goes that the song that is playing was actually intended- hold on a sec, I thought I saw something. So the story goes that the song that is playing was originally intended to be for an underwater level. Kind of like aquatic ambience in the first Donkey Kong Country. That, that game has some pretty serene underwater levels. But then it turned out that the water levels in this game were actually inside ships, and so that got a different song. So it's like, here we have this underwater song, but we don't have a water level to use it. I know, let's place it, l place this peaceful song in the most threatening looking area we possibly can. I think I went the wrong way. Nope, I went the right way. Just checking if there's anything down here. Gotta explore and that sort of thing. I want this. There. Now if I wanted to, I could go for the, uh, chance at two extra lives at Swinkies. But I want even more. Oh, thank goodness that doesn't count as a hit. For some reason, the underside of these thorns doesn't actually count against you. If you come at them at any other direction, sure. I'm really curious what would happen if I went to the left, but since I'm not using emulator and don't have access to save states, I'm gonna go to the right. I'm not curious enough to... Well, now I'm curious enough to try it, but it's too late now. I obviously don't want to shoot into the bee. Gotcha! That is a tricky one up to get. You gotta be quick. I'm glad I did that. It is always nice when you're able to accomplish 
some fancy pants moves on camera. That is like one of the best things of Let's Playing. If you have bragging rights, well, if, if you, if, that is, if you do something that would be worth bragging about, the fact that you recorded gives you bragging rights. Alright, I think I can just go ahead and drop down. Ideally, I could have just floated to the left, but I wanted to make sure that the... Oh gosh, that was apparently the bad idea. I should have just floated to the left. I'm supposed to go that way, but let's go this way. Because I want bananas. I like bananas. Maybe not as much as monkeys, but... Bananas are still nice. Which way do I want to go here? There's like bananas pointing me all over the place. Okay, that'll lead to a dead end, so let's not go that way. Alright. I'm gonna go down... back down to the right. Oh, I can't. I want to find my way over to that barrel on the right. So I guess I need to work my way off in that direction. Oop. I meant to shoot... Up here. No, up, up. I see the DK coin. I know how to get to it, too. Alright, we are on the right track. I think to the right is a dead end, but... Eh. I've got time to check. I mean, like I said, it's basically this level and then a boss fight. Along with Swinky. Game's getting tricky. Oh, wait, wait, wait! That was a thing! Alright. Well, I might as well grab this now before I screw myself over, and... DK coins should be right over here. Yep. Now I'm kind of curious where this is leading. To a bonus barrel, I bet. Yeah, it's a bonus barrel. Ugh. Hit the brakes a little late. Wait, where am I going? I'm going down. There it is. Alrighty then. This won't be too difficult. Ah, I wish I hadn't said that. Now I'm probably going to mess up. Just take it carefully. Hold up to fly up faster. But uh, don't rush it too much. And that's the end of Squawks. Where is this going to put me now? To the G. Oh, I missed, I missed the thing. Hold on, go back. I hear... Okay, back up like that. Get Diddy back. Where did I miss the uh, N? Oh, wait a sec. Hold on. Let me go back down. Oh, I can't go back down. Well, what the heck? Why are they blocking me from going to back to the right and down? I mean... All I could have done was, after after landing on Squawks was go straight down, so as long as I can go down anyway... Might as well just let me go back. Now that I think about it, I can just do this. Wait, what? Okay, apparently you can bounce on the spikes. That is interesting. Oh, I lost Squawks. I want Squawks back. I want to do this thing where I bring Squawks to the end. That's got to be possible in some way, right? Now go back before the camera... 
No, it really does force you over here. Alright then. Thought there was nothing off to the right, but there isn't. Okay, that time the ceiling was was uh, something you could crash into. You know what? I want my other Kong. Better not die. Please don't die me. Also, you can hold down to just hover not very fast. Or just hover, as in not fly up. Not very easily, that is. The game gives you nice control over squawks. Alright, let's go ahead and end this. Again, the choices aren't very good. But I want the coin. And I had to rush it. Couldn't get the timing down. On the bright side, another level done with Diddy. And there's the boss. But before we do the boss, I'm gonna do this. I only got two coins, huh? Alright, I'll have to grind for some coins. But I can do that off camera. Funky's fun. What can your snake buddy do that is special? He can spit eggs, runs very fast. I, I, I paused on that one because it reminded me of something, but I don't have time to do, talk about that now because we're almost done. Jumps very high. What is the name of the level with the angler fish who helps you with his underwater light? Uh, Torch Tragedy, Gloomy Galley, Glimmer's Galleon. You clever little monkey. What is the name of the big muscle bound crocodile who guards the toll bridge? Claggy, Klunga, or Clubba. Need you in this time, and I need more coins, so I will be right back. Speaking of Glimmer's Galleon, that is actually the best place to grind for coins in this area because there's two coins right at the start of the level. Alright, so then, Swampy Swag. How many lives do you start the game with? Oh, gosh. It's a good thing I got extra coins. Three, five, seventeen. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not seventeen. But is it three or five? Well, I could cheat and look at my recording because there's a one up at the start of the game and that would give me an indication of how many I started with. But I'm going to say three. Aww. Should have known it was five. Wait, why am I leaving? I have enough coins. Yeah, they wouldn't start this game with only three lives. Not when you have the opportunity, or when, not when you have to go through three whole levels before you find the first save point. So how many lives? Five. What button do you press to team up? Button X, button B, or button A? What is your Rhino Buddy's name? Bam Bam, Rambus, or Rambi? There we go. And I just got just enough coins to do Primate Prize. What is the name of this area of the island? Don Quay? Or Donkey? I don't know. Crocodile Cove or that crumb place? What is your parrot buddy's name? Flapper, Squeaks, or Squawks? How many airplanes hang from the roof in Kong College? Okay, I actually looked at this. One, four, two. And there's three lives. And that's that. Let us head on to the boss. So, um, you know Clubba over here? Yeah, this guy. Keep him in mind. Now we are going to Cudgel's Contest. Yay, it's Clubba! Recolored. Oops. Well, now I don't have to explain what happens if you're on the ground when he lands.
Oops. You're gonna have to remember how to hit him, because he smacks the barrel out of your hands. It's a good thing when he does that it doesn't explode. There we go. We just have to get far enough away from him. So you so I guess the deal is that you just don't wanna carry the barrel into his face. You need to throw it. In which case, Dixie might be the better option for this fight. Because she has a longer throw. Considering she grabs it with her freaking ponytail. Turn around! This is not going as well as supposed to. Turn around, thank you. And his jumping gets faster as we go along. But that's not the only trick. Now it's different. I notice that he sits there whenever he lands after giving you the TNT barrel. I wonder how long he sits there for. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, let's do this again, but better. This time we'll start with Diddy. Kind of like I did le last time, but this time I won't switch to Dixie. It's the point I want to make. That way, if things start to go to pot, I'll at least have the better character for the situation. Incidentally, the camera kind of goes where he's about to land, so that gives you an indication of where he's going to land. Which is why I kind of sat there, because I was kind of waiting for the camera to pan over so I knew in which way to dodge. Actually, does he have a stronger throw? Oh, I didn't realize he already jumped up. And now we know that, uh, well actually I don't know. He land he, he seemed to go straight for the TNT box. But I don't know if he did that because he wanted to get rid of it before you had a chance to use it, or it was because he knocked us off screen and so the screen was in the middle of the room and so that's, I don't know. I'm not entirely willing to find out. Come on, Dixie! You know, this kind of reminds me of a boss from the first Donkey Kong Country. I forgot, forget what the boss's name is, but it basically does the same thing. Comes down to squish you. But it's a little bit more lame in that game. You're basically fighting... Ugh. Roll, roll away, roll away! Ugh, dodge that one. You're basically fighting a uh, barrel. A giant... TNT barrel. Go Dixie! Okay, I think he takes one more hit. Oh, that was almost bad. Yeah, you just sit there. Oh gosh, he wasn't done. What happened? I don't get it. I don't get it. What happened? I thought I hit him. Did I not hit him? Did that not count because he was starting to jump up before the barrel hit him? This is... this is tough. 
gotta say, this is tough. On the plus side, this video is gonna wind up uh, being uh, longer than I expected. Not that that's really a good thing, it's more of a bad thing, but hey! Um... Hey! Also, hey! That wasn't nice. Oh, Turn around. And I would continue the lyrics of that song if I knew any more of that song than Turn Around. Oh. You know, it really does help if you don't send him so far off screen that you don't know if whether he's jumped up again or not. To be fair though, I should probably assume that he's jumped up. Well, this is easily the toughest boss we've fought so far. I never claimed I was good at this game. Does he always land right in the middle after you, after he, uh... Get away! Yeah, I think he always lands in uh, where he, he always lands right here where the TNT barrel is. I don't know how useful that information is, but, um, maybe it's useful. Also... Oh! 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 Finally! Also, also. Because I forgot how I was gonna end that. And that is the end of... Yeah, that place. Oh, wait, what? Where did I miss a thing? Why didn't you tell me I missed a thing? Found everything there, found everything there, found everything there, found everything there. Uh, well, it's a good thing I noticed that before I ended this video. Well, wherever I missed it, I guarantee the end is nearby. Alright, I think I figured out where it is. So, we're at this point. I don't know how a good reference to say this point is, but, um, let's see here. Go up here, of course, and for your reference point, here is that long string of bananas that I shot through. So before you go through that long string of bananas, come down here, which I did not do. Instead, I went to the right, but you're supposed to actually go down further, and there's where I'm supposed to go. Unfortunately, that does not appear to be where the N is, but uh, it's where the bonus barrel is. So let's go ahead and um, find our way through this maze. And that is not the way to go. So probably downward. In fact, let's just crawl around the edge here. Oh, let's try going up. I'm gonna have to go that way to get further up. There we go. And there's the end. Well, gee, I wonder where the end is then. Well, as long as I'm already in the level, I might as well uh, hunt for it. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out where the end is. I mean, I searched everywhere, and it's like, I, I don't know. Whatever, you don't need a 100% completion in order to get, get, uh, or you, or you don't need 
to collect Kong in order to get 100% completion. So, it, it's not worth hunting. Yeah, if, I'm, if I try hunting for it, it'll take me all day. So we're just gonna go ahead and end this. And by end this, I mean down here at the bottom is all of my patrons. By the way, uh, just yesterday I did another stream of... Why did I leave? Just yesterday I did another stream of Pokemon Uranium over at Twitch as a Patreon request for Lit Dragon. You know, the game's okay. But aside from the opening of the game, it really hasn't done anything to differentiate itself from an average Pokemon game. I'm already about to enter the second gym, and it's not that been that different. Speaking of Patreon requests, there is, of course, my YouTube Let's Play request that I started yesterday as well. And that is Avatar The Last M Airbender, so uh, definitely check that out when you get the chance. No, nope, this level here looks like it's going to be fun. However, before I uh, go in there, it would probably be beneficial if I saved. So let me go ahead and do that. There. Now I saved. And now, I will end this video. And I will see you in the next one. Whoa, what? Found it! No, no! Ah. Uh.